Hey there everyone, it's Ravindra Devrani back with another video. We are continuing the C-Sharp tutorial series and in this video we are going to do some practical exercises. If you find this video helpful then please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed the channel then hit that subscribe button. So let's get started with this practical exercise and the first program is enter the three inputs and multiply them. So example a equals to 5, b equals to 4, c equals to 5, then output will be 5 into 4 into 6 and it is simple. So let's see how to do it. So I am going to type here program 1. So let's take three variable in a, b, c and a equals to 5 b equals to 6, c equals to 7 and let's take another variable d equals to a into b into c and print it console dot right line d so let's run this program So here it is the output 210 and we can write it like this put a dollar sign here and write here multiplication of a b comma a comma b comma c is d that's it and let's run this program okay so it will be printed like this multiplication of 5 6 and 7 is 2 1 0 so that is our first program let's comment this one and Let's move to the second one. Enter the two numbers and print their average. So first of all, type here int a r and one equals to five and int and two equals to ten. So and right here int average a v g equals to let's type it double avg equals to n1 plus n2 divided by 2 console dot right line avg So let's run this program and let's see 7 okay so let's see let's write it in this way put a dollar sign here and average of n1 and n2 is a V G so it is the output of the program and if we convert this double convert this into double and this into double also then it will give us more accurate average which is 7.5 so average of 5 and 10 is 7.5 that's it so let's move to the next program Let's see what it is. If someone enters negative value, then so the error message, we do not accept negative value. So let's see how someone enters the value. First of all, int num. And right here, num equals to convert dot to int 32. And console 
dot read line just right here and before that right here console dot write line enter any number that's it now this number will be stored inside this num with the help of console dot read line now we will check if number is less than zero then console dot write line we do not accept negative values So if someone enters here minus one, minus one, then it will say we do not accept negative values. If someone enters here zero, let's see, everything is fine. So that's our third program. So it is the third one. It is the second one. Now let's move to the fourth one. So let's see what it is saying. Print these two stars four times. So it is simple. We will we will create a loop from one to four. I equals to one. Int i equals to one. I is less than equals to four. I plus plus. Print console dot right line these two stars so here it has printed two stars four times it is the program number four let's move to the program number five let's see what it is saying find the number of characters in zone do okay so right here is string name equals to zondo so we have a length method so we will use that method console dot right line name dot length actually it is a property not a method and let's print this eight we have eight characters in john doe now we will move to the last program which is program number six print the numbers from one to ten except six it means output will be like this one two three four five and it will skip the sixth one seven eight nine ten and remember that we have a continuous statement for that so right here while first of all int x equals to int nothing int x equals to 1 and while x is greater than equals to sorry less than equals to 10 x plus plus it will print console dot right line x and if x equals to equals to which line we have to okay we have to skip the sixth iteration so if x equals to 6 then continue and it is going to skip the sixth iteration that is fine so let's run this program and let's see what happens so one two three four five and for that we have to move this part here so let's write here plus plus x now let's see okay it is typing one 
it is not typing one okay it doesn't matter if we write plus plus x or x plus plus but we need to initialize x equals to zero and okay so let's remove this and let's continue this program okay so here one two three four five and it has skipped six seven eight nine ten and eleven and it has also printed the eleven so let's see if this helps let's move it right back now we just need to remove this equals to sign and everything will be fine now one two three four five not six but seven eight nine ten so that's it and we can also implement it with for loop so let's implement it with for loop int i int i equals to 1 i is less than equals to 10 i plus plus and copy this line if x equals to 6 if i equals to 6 then continue otherwise print this i and it will do the same as the previous one one two three four five skipped six seven eight nine ten so that was our sixth program so that's it for now we will catch up later